Just yesterday, I visited a friend whom we schooled together. In our school days, we both wanted to be entrepreneurs but when I divorced school, he felt that he needed a little more romance with the boring textbooks that leads to a decorated paper called a degree. For many years, he has been an employee while I've been trying to build a company. I had my first business breakthrough 8 years after I started my business but my friend was waiting for the right time to start a business till this moment. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the reasons why most employees cannot succeed as entrepreneurs. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. What if I work harder? I have a good friend who we talked together a lot but at some point, we were not able to reach each other again. When I got in touch again with him, he said, I'm sorry, I got a new job and that's why I've been busy. This situation is so funny for two reasons. First, it's funny that my friend got busier when he got a better job because it was the same time I was trying to work less because my business is becoming more successful. The second reason why is that everyone simply thinks that's the right thing to do. If you want to be rich, work three jobs you care nothing about. That's what most people think. <laughs> Well, one of the reasons why most employees may never succeed as entrepreneurs are because most employees tend to love to do things by themselves. John D. Rockefeller said, I'd rather make 1% of 100 people's work than to make 100% of my work. If you can take some moments to think about this statement, it can change your life. Again, here is it. I'd rather make 1% of 100 people's work than to make 100% of my work. Most employees tend to think that if they can get a better job or work three jobs, their life will be better. The opposite is the truth. I've proved this again and again on this channel. Nobody gets rich because they work long hours or three jobs. People get rich by getting 1% off of 100 people's work legitimately. What happens when most employees start a business is that they are used to using their hands and brains to work for money so they try to go alone and that leads them into being a sole proprietor which is even worse than a job because as a sole owner of the business, you will have to work 12 to 14 hours per day and sometimes on the weekends. If you want to be an entrepreneur, please write this quote somewhere where you can see it every day. I'll rather make 1% of 100 people's work than to make 100% of my work. When it's never my fault One of the reasons why most employees can never become a successful entrepreneur is because they usually expect too much from others. I don't know, maybe this is a universal truth or based on my limited experience but almost every employee that I know seems to think that other people owe them something or that their poverty is due to other people's fault. In my part of the world, employees are always fighting for an increase in minimum wage. Many other places in the world, employees always complain about their employers and their co-workers. The problem with thinking that you are a victim of other people's misbehavior is that you won't stand up to take responsibility for your life. Entrepreneurs don't point fingers, especially about their personal life. Entrepreneurs don't wait for others to fix their lives. Entrepreneurs stand up and fight. Most employees cannot succeed as entrepreneurs because if you start a business with the mindset of expecting an external force to help you to succeed, you'll fail tomorrow morning because you'll find nobody and nothing. People and resources can come to your aid but not usually when you think that it's someone's responsibility to send them. When I cannot lead people Well, I'm sorry, if you attended similar schools to what I know in my part of the world, nobody will teach you anything about leadership. The reason why nobody teaches you nothing about leadership is that these guys who created the school curriculum never wanted you to be a leader. They wanted you to be a humble and obedient citizen so that you'll be easy to direct like a baby even when you're 47. What then happens when someone who has been an employee for 10 years starts a business is that he gets easily frustrated by people he needs to work with. 
he'll either work alone as I've explained earlier or when he tries to hire a few people, he simply thinks that something is wrong with those people he hired. It's because he was never taught how to handle people. As an entrepreneur, one of the most important skills you must have is leadership skills. You must know how to lead people because if you don't know how to lead people, you won't build a successful business. It's also important that you have a good human relationship skill because without good human relationship skill, you cannot be a good leader. When I earn to spend Again, I'm saying this out of my limited experience. You see, most employees I know simply earn money to spend money. For me as an entrepreneur, I simply can't believe that human beings make money and blow it on useless things. For me, money is a seed and not a fruit. I cannot just buy anything I want simply because I earn money. I can only buy anything I want from the money I don't work for. In other words, I can only buy a luxurious item from the money my assets make for me. If I sweat to make the dollars, then I have to invest it first and wait till it doubles. The problem most employees have when they start their own business is that they are used to spending money as fast as they earn it. To be an entrepreneur, you have to really, really forget luxury for many years. If you want to use the latest Samsung phones, buy the Rolex watch or live in the most expensive home when you're building a business, you'll fail tomorrow morning. I want my reward now. In my country, most employees are paid every month. In some places, you are paid every week. The problem most employees have when they start their own business is that they expect the reward very fast. Because they are used to receiving a paycheck every month, they are used to fast rewards. Well, only small things come fast. Building a business is like building a skyscraper. You can't finish it next month. As an entrepreneur, if you can't wait, you can't win. If you can't delay gratification, you can't build a company. In summary, if you truly want to be an entrepreneur, you must understand that it's a different world with different rules. You can work alone as an employee but you have to learn how to work with people, a lot of people, as an entrepreneur. You can make money and spend it all as an employee. If you do it as an entrepreneur, you won't have any money to pay your staff or recover from unexpected market changes and that will be the end of your business. You can get your reward after 30 days as an employee. For entrepreneurs, you have to learn how to work for free for many months or even years. If you don't change the way you think and be willing to follow new rules in a new world of entrepreneurship, you can't succeed in business. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next but before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now look at your screen to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.